on board uh, the Progress are 1,940 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen and air, 926 pounds of water and 2,976 pounds of maintenance hardware, experiment equipment, and resupply items destined for use aboard the International Space Station. Uh, once the uh, Progress docks to the Piers docking compartment, less than six hours before Endeavour's scheduled launch to the International Space Station on Friday, The uh, Progress 42 cargo ship launched on time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 8.05 a.m. Central Time today. That's 7.05 p.m. in uh, Kazakhstan. And less than 10 minutes later, the Progress reached its preliminary orbit and deployed its solar rays and navigational antennas just as planned. At 8.17 a.m. this morning, Central Time, Flight Director Edelin received uh, confirmation from Mission Control Moscow that the third stage of the rocket had separated as expected. There are two rendezvous burns scheduled today and one tomorrow uh, before the uh, automated uh, spacecraft begins its uh, final terminal rendezvous to the space station on Friday. The docking uh, time to uh, piers is scheduled for 9.29 a.m. Central Time. And we'll have NASA TV coverage of that docking beginning at 9 a.m. Central Time Friday. In addition to uh, making some preparations for the arrival of the new cargo ship and the arrival of the Space Shuttle Endeavour and its crew, uh, the Expedition 27 crew uh, was involved in a number of different experiments today, including CARD, which is an experiment that looks at how the heart performs during long-duration space life, and C-SPIN, which looks at how the near absence of gravity on the outpost affects the way cucumber plants grow and develop, which is important uh, for plant researchers uh, trying to develop uh, new strains on the ground and also for those looking forward to uh, longer duration missions to uh, other destinations in our solar system where we might need to grow plants as a food or oxygen source. In addition, Apollo Nespoli worked with uh, the setup of a new amateur radio antenna system in the Columbus Laboratory. He uh, did some of the checkouts on that antenna system, but uh, had to uh, close out the activity in favor of other activities uh, before he could get it fully uh, triangulated and worked uh, working properly. And uh, Ron Guerin also installed uh, some computer network upgrades in the Kibo Laboratory. Of course, the Columbus Laboratory, one of the key contributions of the European Space Agency, along with the uh, uh, automated transfer vehicle Johannes Kepler that remains docked at the aft port of the Zvezda service module, and the uh, Kibo Laboratory, a key contribution of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, uh, its key laboratory aboard the International Space Station. As mentioned, the crew also making uh, preparations for the arrival of Endeavour's astronauts on Sunday to begin the dock phase of the STS-134 utilization logistics flight six mission to the space station that 14-day mission uh, again launching on friday uh, this pretty much wraps up our uh, video of the rollout preparations to the uh, launch pad and as soon as this is complete we'll have uh, live cover uh, have a replay of the launch of progress You can see the gantry falling back away from the rocket. Engine start and liftoff of Progress 42 again at 8.05 a.m. Central Time. This replay showing us the 7.05 p.m. Baikonur time launch from the Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Again, uh, the Progress is loaded with uh, 1,900 pounds of propellant, 100 pounds of oxygen and air, 900 pounds of water, and 2,900 pounds of maintenance hardware, experiment equipment, and resupply items for the space station. And it is scheduled to arrive at the uh, Piers docking compartment at 9.29 a.m. Central Time, just six hours before Endeavour's scheduled launch to the International Space Station.